Good evening, everyone. My name is Nick Charlton. In 2016, I became the first African-American male to graduate from the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign with a Bachelor's of Science in Food Science and Human Nutrition since the College of Agriculture's founding in 1868. Three words that come to mind when I think about Nick, genuine. Magnetic. Resourceful. Fearless. He's very thoughtful. Curious. He's genuinely curious. He's just always kind of glowing. Focused. He's very charismatic, funny. Silly. Inspirational. Determined. And just an incredible, genuine human being. I love Nick. So when I think about Greenhouse Scholars, the first thing that comes to mind is the community. It gave me a community of, you know, brothers, sisters, friends, mentors, uh, champions, sponsors. The thing I'm most impressed with about Nick is how he kind of wraps all the features that he has and feels like he has to give back, whether it's to his mom or to Greenhouse. I think it, it's just always been my duty to be a part of the Greenhouse Scholars community and pay it forward whenever, wherever I can. He is the epitome of what Greenhouse was looking for in terms of finding people that had promise, needed some support to, to realize that promise, but at the end of the day would make their communities and organizations that they're involved in better. So I remember going to the dollar store and buying a hundred <laughs> postcards uh, and just started writing postcards every week. That was a way to keep in touch with people other than Facebook through Instagram. Just handwritten, no cards, showing people that you appreciate them. He is the guy that reaches out to everybody. And he does it just because that's who he is. He doesn't do it because he has to. And that always touched me. He's just got a very genuine quality where it's not a front. It's not, he's not trying to get anything out of you when he's talking to you. He's doing it because he has this genuine nature about him. It was so joyful to open up a mailbox and find a letter in there. Um, your first year of college, living away from home, um, having that sort of constant in your life is, is kind of like the light and joy. <laughs> the thing that I'm most proud of being able to pay it forward now as a Greenhouse Scholar alum um, is to be able to sponsor one of the Greenhouse Scholars that's new to the program this year, Adesia. I hear a little bit about what he's doing behind the scenes with Adesia, and it's just so helpful. And um, it comes from a different place than many of the mentors. Just meeting Nick for the first time just felt so like a familiar, homely feeling to me. I remember after that lunch, actually, uh, Nick offered me a ride to the train station, and. We sat literally in Nick's car for two hours before I even got on that train, just talking about um, life and what it's like post high school and like talk through all the fears that I had. And this is all within like the first five hours of me knowing Nick. And Nick didn't let me leave that car until I felt comfortable and okay with what, what I was just simply processing about the next step in my life. Hey Nick, it's Martin, your little brother. I just wanted to take this opportunity to say that I really appreciate you and everything you've done for me. I'm not gonna lie, I definitely would not be the same person I am today if you never came in in my life. I really envision an equitable, inclusive, diverse world where everyone has the opportunity to get to college. Not only get to college, but to finance their way through college, so it's not a financial burden. I think of one Greenhouse Scholar specifically who has grown up in the foster care system. Um, yeah, education. <laughs>